Hey, what's going on people, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your Ryzen CPU's performance by actually overclocking it safely with a little bit of enhancement. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a lot of important tips. So make sure to watch it till the end. Do not skip any part of this video. And with all that said, let's get started. So if you're using a Ryzen CPU, in most cases, you might have an option to overclock it, which you probably don't know about. Basically, the X series of Ryzen processors are generally eligible to be overclocked. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly with each step how you can overclock your processor safely. So step number one is creating a register point, And this is really simple. Simply search for create a register point and then in the system protection, look up for your local disk C and then click on create and name it Ryzen or anything which you can remember and simply click on create. This is a really important step and I would recommend you guys not to skip it because in the worst case, you can save your computer from being corrupted. Once again, once it is done, you can simply click on close and let's move to step number two. That is the Ryzen optimization pack. Now, before applying any overclocks on your CPU, you have to download this file from the link in the description below open it up and you will find in two simple folders first one is the amd cpu optimization and you'll find in three simple files over here first one is the cpu priority as it says second one is the increased power efficiency so your cpu will be able to draw maximum power from your psu and the third one is the thread priority which will improve the performance of your cpu threads in general you have to apply all three of them and then go into the RAM optimization folder and select the RAM which you're using on your computer. If you do not know about it, you can simply search for system information and then look for the installed physical memory over here. For me, it is 16 GB. So I have to run the 16 GB RAM over here. It can be different for you, so make sure to choose it wisely. Once you're done with that, simply feel free to close the FPS pack and let's move to the third most important step that is installing Ryzen Master if you do not already have it. You can simply go to the link in the description below and get Ryzen Master for yourself. Once you're on the AMD's official website, you can scroll all the way down until you find the download now button. You have to download it, extract it, install it. And once you're done with that, you have to open Ryzen Master. Now here is our fourth step best Ryzen master settings. But before that, every time you open this application up, you will see a little warning page over here. And it clearly says that damages caused by use of your AMD processor outside of official AMD specifications or outside of factory settings are not covered under any AMD product warranty. Basically, all it means that if you damage your product by overclocking it, that means it is already out of bounds of your warranty. But in this case, I'm going to show you how you can safely overclock your processor without damaging it. So simply click on OK and then you will be on this simpler view of your Ryzen Master. Let's say if you face a lot of FPS drops or gaming performance issues. So in this case, I would suggest you guys to set your curve optimizer mode to all cores and control mode to default. In that case, you're not going to change your overclocks, but you are only going to make your processor optimized for all cores. You can simply click on start optimizing and it will run a simple test and it will keep your PC optimized. But in case you are looking for a very high CPU performance, I would recommend you guys to go into the advanced view and then this bigger window will pop right in front of you. Now you can see a lot of complicated settings over here, but basically what you're looking for is the game mode over here. Once you click on the game mode, it will be set to default. And now that will show you the clocks that it will apply on your desktop by default. What you need to do is click on this precision boost overdrive, and that will allow your processor to run beyond the default infrastructures limits. But you do not have to worry because this will only limit your processor to the overclock limit that is written on the box. So basically, if it is putting a lot of pressure on your CPU, it will automatically shut down by default without damaging your product. But once you know that this is not made for you, 
you can simply go back to home or set this thing to default and that is going to work once you select any of these settings over here you make sure that you click on apply and test not simply click on apply because apply and test will also run a stress test on your computer and basically look if your processor is suffering with any issues simply setting it to apply will skip that complete procedure and then you may damage your product in the testing process on actual things so i would recommend you guys to click on apply and test every time uh, make sure to set it to precision boost overdrive this is meant for gaming and i believe that setting it to this option will optimize it for most of the games out there once again guys you can drop your system specifications down in the comments below and i can reply to you guys which mode that you are going to use now if you use your processor for content creation say animation or rendering you also have a creator mode over here and in this case you have to select auto overclocking in this way you are going to only overclock your cpu when it is necessary not setting it to precision overdrive and let it run on the maximum potential for the long run see while you are editing on your computer you do not want your processor to be running at 100 percent every single second you need to let it run while you are rendering or you are running a playback or basically exporting so auto overclocking will be a better option for you guys because it will only overclock your cpu when it is needed once again do let me know about what you think about this video in the comments down below and i hope this video helps you out if it does make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below it seriously helps me out a lot also let me know about your pc specifications and i will reply to each one of you with the best settings We'll see you in another video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.